Hello my friends, welcome to Hades, where it is currently almost 90 degrees in my filming space. Oh my goodness. Regardless of whether I melt off the face of the planet, this video needs to be made. This video is about the Ulta and Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. If you follow me on Insta, which you really should, it's fun. You would have seen that I was very excited when I saw this announced. It sold out very, very quickly on Ulta. Now I'm going to warn you. I'm going to be inserting pictures here. This is a new one, by the way. If you do not like bugs, do not... Uh, I'll warn you before you I get to the pictures, just saying. So this collection, I was so excited about. Pac-Man was my thing when I had my Atari in the late 70s, and then Pac-Man came out, I don't know, around 80, I think 80 something. I was still young enough to enjoy video games, and I played it endlessly, and I loved it, and I still love Pac-Man. So when I saw this, I was thrilled. I ordered it very quickly. It came. I opened it, <clears throat> and there was something very shocking inside. Before I get to that story, this is a new one. I took my story all the way to corporate, or Ulta Corporate, who actually called me on the phone. And this is not in stores yet. It hasn't been released in stores yet, but they have it. And I actually went to my Ulta store and showed them the email from corporate, explained my whole story. They were kind enough to sell this to me. So this is a new one. I'm not going to sell rather tell the name of the store because I don't want anybody to get in trouble if they could but when they heard and they saw you'll you'll see the packaging I, I look at the back look at the back it's one of the ghosts it is cardboard when you open it up look at the inside it says, take a nostalgic walk down memory lane with the new Wet n Wild X Pac-Man collection where bright hues and iconic characters bring you back to the days spent in the arcade. Your favorite pop culture sensation is brought back to life with these colorful Pac-Man inspired products. So put your game face on and get ready to make a power play <laughs> that will leave you scoring big bonus points in this beauty game. Kit includes a lip scrub, a lip balm, blush palette, color palette which are they can't say eyeshadow palette because I'm assuming that they are pressed pigments four ghost lipsticks a bronzer power palette blush highlighter blush lighter it's called perfect game nail kit powder brush waka 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 powder brush and waka 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 eyeshadow brush inside it has this is felt this I is I assume the PR kit that the people who oh it's upside down who actually get PR not me would get and the presentation is beautiful at least this one is this is the bonus lip scrub oh my goodness look how freaking just look I mean this is like wobbly just like a stem it's shaped like an apple Oh, it smells like apple. My lips are a little chapped. Let's try a little out here. It has a fruity taste, but I'm not about to eat it. But that is freaking adorable. Look at the bonus cherry lip balm. Is there anyone out there who does not know what Pac-Man is? Those of the younger generation, I don't know if they would remember. I sure as heck do. Look at this. Oh my goodness. The entire collection, by the way, is $70. It is not inexpensive, but you are getting a lot of products for your money. Mmm, this smells really good. It feels like a classic lip balm. It has a little bit of a tint to it, which is kind of nice, so if you just want to wear this, you could. Let's take a look at this um, blush palette. Look, just, I mean, I just got lip balm all over it. Look at the pictures on the front and on the back. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely freaking adorable. And on the inside, you are getting three shimmery, not sparkly like glittery, but shimmery blushes. And it also appears that you're getting a matte bronzer. And indented, imprinted, embossed, whatever you want to call it, are scores. 
300 and 700, they have different scores. I mean the detail. Let's swatch these puppies. These are the four shades. This one here is the bronzer, and this one is the most shimmery. That is this one down here. It seems to have the most shimmer. I still think it'll look beautiful on the skin, though. Before we get into the eye palette, which I am so excited about, I want to see what these guys are because I honestly don't know. Okay, this is the bronzer, so that may just be a matte blush. It screws open. I really have no idea what to expect. I don't know whether it's a jelly bronzer, a liquid to powder cream. I really do not know, but it is sealed. And it's got a sponge. Uh, oh! Oh! They're little balls. You don't get very many of them. But that is freaking adorable. They do have some shimmer to them. I'm not a big fan of balls. But I like them. They seem very pigmented, so I want to see how it works when I pick it up with the brush. I do like that they have the little sponge to keep the balls from falling out of the package. Now what are these? It's called a blush lighter. Okay, is it a blush? Maybe it's a blush highlighter? what I do with my Hello Kitty? Again, the packaging. The packaging is just amazing. Now I don't know if they're going to be selling these individually or they are just selling the collection. I'm honestly not sure. I think it is obviously balls. Wow, this is um that's sparkly so cute and so little that is very very um shimmery not glittery but shimmery they don't have a scent really i didn't expect them to but i smell freaking everything you know what let's just get into the palette i can't take it i can't hold the suspense because <gasps> look at the palette oh my goodness gracious me and the pin from the palette just fell out, so the lid is broken. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it. It's no biggie. Who else thinks these things are an impossibility to get into? I know they want to protect it from tampering, but for goodness sakes, the lid is uh, obviously broken. I don't care, no biggie, but oh my, look at those colors. <gasps> wow, and embossed, they have the little ghosts and they have the pac-man in the middle oh my you are getting four mats i want to see if this yellow is a mat yes the yellow is indeed a mat let me swatch these i hate sticking my fingers in it because they're so freaking cute this orange one is so soft there's the pink the purple and that beautiful like really intense orange now, you know I'm not going to be doing a subtle look today. And what's nice is you actually get a transition shade in here. This yellow, it's a little weak, and this teal blue. You have this beautiful sparkling silver, which I just want to use all over my body. This blue, which went on pretty nicely, and this orange, which is a really, really beautiful color. I'm going to have a hard time deciding what colors I'm going to put on my face. You are getting four lipsticks, which I'm going to try on at the end for you when I have my full look on, but let me show you what they are, and I'm even going to try on this blue. Some of the colors are out there, but that is okay. Here are the four shades, and they each have little ghosts on them. This one is just like a really baby pink. You have like, I think this is probably one of the more wearable ones, and maybe even this pink. They're definitely out there colors but it's Pac-Man. There is a second layer underneath here, so you pull this out. Then look, there's like a little cardboard, which is like the whole board of the game. Board of the game? The whole game board. Then there are two little pull tabs. And in here, you are getting two brushes. You're getting a face brush, which I guess could be a, just a powder brush with yellow bristles, and then you are getting one eye brush as well, and a full set of nail polishes in absolutely gorgeous colors. I love them. You know I will totally wear those colors, especially these neons. That is the Perfect Game Nail Kit. Here is the brush. 
wait till you see the handle. Oh my goodness gracious. Very, very intensely soft. <gasps> I, uh, this is like a kitten. The Waka 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 uh, powder brush. <laughs> Let's take a look at the eye brush. Honestly, I think they should have come out with a full collection of brushes. I would have bought that too. Brush is the same with the glitters. Wait, are they lit? They are little Pac-Men and little ghosts. I do not know if you can see the detail, but see if you can see this one. He's a little Pac-Man. Oh my. And this is definitely more of a pack of brush and I know why they included this because those are pigments and sometimes those pressed pigments can be harder to blend. Now obviously I'm not going to be trying on the nail polish. That would kind of be silly. As you can see, I've already done at least my foundation. I did not put bronzer on. I didn't even realize that there was a bronzer in there. So we're going to first try these bronzer little beads. I'll call them beads. Mm -hmm. Now, do I want to use this for the blush or for the beads? I I'm going to use it for this because why not? Look how much picked up on there. They are shimmery. And unfortunately, I, I had too much of a shimmer setting powder on my face. I went a little ham with it. I didn't realize how much was on there. So I'm already shimmery. Go light-handed, my friends. I went a little ham on this. I will be able to tone it down. Okay, so now let me start telling you my story. Oh my goodness. So I was so excited to get this. I was like, I'm going to do a full dedicated review. It's going to it's going to be awesome. I'm going to love it. I was so nostalgic. I was so excited. I got home from work. I got the box. I ran upstairs because it was a huge, huge box. So I took it out. I put it on my bed and I open it up. And the first layer, I'm just like looking at everything. I didn't open the packages really because I wanted to ex see and experience the products with you guys. As I said, this is a very intense bronzer. So if you go light handed, I think it could look really pretty and summery. You know, just kind of give you that pretty bronzy summer glow. I like them. I will use them. This blush ones, on the other hand, I don't know. I mean, but like, I'm, I'm glowing. Let's try to tame that a little bit with this matte. It's a little peachy, but I might be able to use it as a bronzer. Okay, so I get it on my bed, and I open it up, and I take off that top layer that you see that had the stuff that in it there, and I get to the bottom lever, lever, level, and I take off that cardboard. I'm going to insert pictures. Now, if you know me at all, I'm kind of a bugophobic. I don't know, is there an actual word for somebody who has this insane fear of bugs? That would be me. And sitting right on the bottom, tucked in where the brush was and on the side of the other brush, and I'm going to put pictures here, were dead moths. Dead moths. Now, granted, it could have been a much worse bug. But they were dead moths. And it's not like they were on the outside of the carton. That had They had to be in there. And then that cardboard, it was packed in there. They were, they were packed in the factory with the dead bugs. Because you had to put that cardboard on top. Then you had to put this layer on top of that. Somebody actually packed the dead bugs in the package. Okay? Now, I know it wasn't on the makeup. Obviously, the makeup is sealed. But let me tell you what I did next. Before I do that, I'm going to try these blushes. I have enough shimmer on my face, so I'm going to just kind of tap into these two a little bit. I'm just using a Luxie brush. 
I have to say these are extremely pigmented. Oh, well, let me tell you how fabulous my hair looked before the humidity took over. I got a cut, a color, and a blowout. I looked like, I think I looked fab. My girlfriend, Tammy Prano, she's like amazing. If you were ever in the New York area, she, her salon, Devante, is in, what's the salon she works at? It is in the East Chester Scarsdale area. The girl knows what she's doing. She's been doing my hair for, I don't know, 25 years. And she's fabulous. But then humidity takes over. And I turn into a frizz ball. Oh well. This is very pretty. So if I didn't go so heavy handed with the bronzer, I probably would have liked these a lot more. I honestly, I don't think I, I don't think I can do it people. I don't think I can put these beads as highlighter on my face. Or can I? Okay, I'm just using my finger here. If you have a deeper skin tone, I think this color would look freaking stunning on you. Like, absolutely stunning. Because it's like, it's got like a lot of glow. It's not too glittery. I'm going to actually use a different highlighter, but I wish I had one of my other friends here so I could put this on her. But I think that this would look gorgeous on a deep skin tone. It'd make you just look glowing. So let me tell you what I did next. I freaked out, of course. I took the box off my bed, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it was on my bed. Again, I didn't know if they were still alive. I didn't know what else was in there. <laughs> my poor cat, my poor Baxi. I ripped my sheets off my bed. I took the box out into here where I film, and I put it down, and then I kicked it a few times. I don't want to see if anything was coming out of it. Well, they were, they were dead. Thank you, goodness. But literally, my heart was pounding. I started to pour sweat. Not because it's almost 90 degrees in here, because it wasn't at the time. I was shaking. I was nauseated. I wanted to puke. I mean, yes, I have an overreaction to seeing that. It's not something I can control. It's a phobia. So I immediately took pictures of everything, and I posted them on my socials, and I tagged both Ulta and Wet n Wild. And then I got on the phone with Ulta. The first person I called, unfortunately, did not have a very full command of the English language because she did not know what a moth was. So she was she's put me through to a supervisor. And the supervisor said, I'm sorry, you said you found a mouse? I said, no. And I explained the whole thing. I said, I found dead moths. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take this neutrally color, just so I have a little bit of a neutral base. Ooh, pigment. I actually think I'm going to do the pink, the orange, and this orange. So I'm going to go right into my crease with my Sigma crease brush with this pink. So anyway, I've got the supervisor on the phone, and I'm literally shaking. I am honestly, you know, I was, to me, I'm not overreacting. If somebody has a fear of something, that's legitimate, and I don't think they're overreacting. And I'm explaining to her, and I'm saying, I know it's not your fault. I recognize that. But I am so upset right now that I can't breathe. And I explained the whole thing to her, and she's going over, and she was like, let me see if they have any more. She goes, of course, I'm going to give you, you know, issue you a refund. She said, but you said you took pictures, and she asked me if I did, and I said, yes. Yeah. She goes, I need to forward this to Ulta Corporate. And I was like, sure, forward it to Ulta Corporate. She said, can you please send me the pictures? So I emailed her the pictures. She looked online to see if she could send me a new one, and of course, they were out of stock. I think these things sold out within a couple of hours from when they're released because they're not even on the website anymore. I really wanted this palette and I explained the whole thing, the whole collection. She's like, please call your Ulta stores and see if they have them in stock and you can get it there, etc. Now I'll get to that whole thing in a minute when I finally did get it. But she asked for very specific details. Um, you know, she 
was concerned she was compassionate she was understanding she goes girl i know she goes if a bug flies in my hair i am running and screaming down the street she's like so i understand and she was so apologetic even though it wasn't her fault and i kept saying i know it's not ulta's fault because it's wet and wild products i said but it has ulta's name on it and I think you should be concerned about the quality control. What is it with the quality control of products? I mean, you know, the whole Jaclyn Hill debacle that is occurring, still occurring at the moment, concerns me. What are we getting? What, where are these factories? Where is these things being manufactured that these things are getting into our products? It, it makes me concerned as I put this on my eyes. But again, this is a new box. So she said that Ulta Corporate would be contacting me via she goes can i have them call you so you can explain i said of course you can she said well they're going to contact you either via email or if they cannot get in touch with you um via phone or vice versa so not only did they issue me a refund but she said also she goes not that this is going to make up for your horrifying experience she goes but i'm going to send you a 25 dollars gift card as well and i really did think that was very nice uh, you know i was kind of traumatized but you know i spent I spend thousands of dollars at Ulta in a calendar year and you can imagine how horrified it was, how horrifying it was to me. I'm actually going to still take this orange. I need to throw some more color in there. And I'm going lower kind of onto my lid, but still bringing it up into my crease. So she took her time with me, was patient, documented everything. I got the gift card within five minutes of her sending it. The next day I was at work and I got a call that says, you know, Ulta, I don't think it said Ulta Corporate, but it said Ulta, maybe it said Ulta Corporation, Ulta Beauty Corporation or something. So I knew it was. So I went into the conference room and I picked up the call and, you know, she was again, very polite, very professional, very apologetic. She goes, this should never have happened. This is not up to Ulta's standards. We, we don't, you know, expect this. We, we don't, you know, want to, to deal with this. I'm so sorry for your horrifying experience. I'm going to make sure you get the refund. She goes, this is going on to be further investigated. We have the pictures. We appreciate your time doing that. I'm going to use uh, the little Pac-Man brush on this really cool orange, like super duper cool color. I don't know how it's going to go on dry, but we'll see. It goes on really well dry. But I do want to wet my brush anyway. You know me, I'm extra. She's like, so please, you know, go to the um, Ulta store, try to get the collection. I don't know if it's coming back online, whatever. So I was very happy. I have to say I'm very impressed with their response, with their timing, with their how they're handling the situation. They didn't, you know, say, oh, you're overreacting. They took my complaint and my fear and uh, my feelings about the situation seriously. And it really solidified the fact that I will continue to shop at Ulta due to their professionalism in the way they handle it. I'm going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going above my brow bone with the yellow. Now, interestingly enough, very shortly after I tweeted out the pictures and my post, Ulta commented on my post and said this is horrible but this is not acceptable please dm us immediately and i explained to them that i had already spoken to someone uh and would be speaking with somebody from corporate the next day you know who didn't respond wet and wild i gotta take this purple on my lower lash line wow look at that Oh my pigmentation. Now Alter is the big name in this business, obviously. And for them to collab with a brand, they've collabed with other people before, but for them to have this kind of an issue, but One Wild is not a small brand at all. So freaking pretty. So for, so for Wet n Wild not to respond to my tweet 
I actually thought was and not only my tweet but my Instagram post where I tagged them all for them to not even acknowledge it I think is pretty disgraceful and it really sheds a different light on Wet n Wild than I had before now you know I gotta take this shade and do my inner corner oh, 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 oh wow do you know I don't have an ounce of fallout now I know this is an out there look but this isn't I know it's broken I'm so sad I'm gonna ask my daddy to try to fix it this is an out there palette so yes I mean you could go kind of tame but when you have this palette why would you want to go tame Do you, if you have this you know exactly what you're going for I think it's a super fun look so what I want to do is just go finish up my eyes I am going to throw just a regular highlighter on since I didn't want to go ham with those other little beads. And I'll be back in a few minutes. And then we're going to try on all of those lipsticks. We're going to do lip swatches. My lips will hate me, but I'm going to do it. Okay, I am back. I finished off with my eyeliner. I actually used the ColourPop, the orange one, in my waterline. I used black. My eyeliner looks like crap. It's after 9 o'clock. I put in a full day of work on a Saturday, and I'm freaking exhausted. So... This would look gorgeous with a dramatic winged liner. Mine looks like doo-doo at the moment. I'll get over it. <laughs> I think this is the coolest look. I mean, I went ham. I went ham on my highlighter. I slapped on some pink highlighter. I figured if I was going to do it, I was going to do it all the way. But do I think I might wear this all the time? No, but this is a fun, fun look. I think it's a fun palette. Now I want to try those lipsticks. All of them. This one is called Ghost Gloss in Pinky. That was one of the ghost's names. I love that. Since this is a gloss, I am going to swatch it on my hand. I'm sweating so much that my hands are slippery. Your standard, like, the new type of doe foot applicator that is actually concave. Oh, that's a gloss. It's a really pigmented gloss. Feels a little sticky, but that's pretty. This is a beautiful color. I would definitely wear this color, not with this whole look, but with a less dramatic look. Yeah, that is this one called Pinky. I did have to dip into this quite a few times in order to get a lot of my lips. You don't get a lot on the doe foot applicator. But for a gloss, it's really pigmented, super comfortable, no taste, no smell, not sticky at all even though it felt thick on my hand it's on my lips and I like the way it feels on my lips and I will totally wear this color again this is also a gloss as well and I don't know how pigmented this is going to be but this is inky that was the name of that the blue monster I love that they have the names that's why they chose those colors now I realize because of the ghosts from the game yay Here is Inky. Now, obviously, I will never wear this color again, but I had to try it on because I had to try it on because I'm keeping this collection and the, the box that it came in, like, forever. As you can see, it's very cool toned. You can see my lip color through it. Um, this gets on your teeth like crazy. Maybe if you blot it, maybe if you wore it on top of something else. Again, it's comfortable though, but you might need a lip liner. You need something else. Let me swatch it on my hand for you. You can see it's quite sheer on the hand. I mean, it's hard to have a blue gloss and have it be completely pigmented, but they had to make a blue gloss because of inky. Actually tinged my lips blue. Do you see that? Probably should have tried that one on last. I forgot what the other ghost names were. As I say them, it's coming back to me. This one is Clyde. He is the orange one. Clyde. This one is much more sheer than the other two, as you can see. Here it is on my hand. Again, I would wear this alone. I would probably blot my lips and wear it alone, or I might even put it on top of a matte lipstick. But these are a lot more wearable, except for the blue, than I really thought. And this last pink one is Blinky. I forget which ghost was my favorite. I like them all. 
look at this color. Wow, I think this one's going to be quite pigmented. Wow. Total messy application. This one I didn't have to dip into as much as I had to the others. Again, I would probably wear this color. I think I would blot it. Let me see what happens when I blot. See, now that's a much more wearable color for a gloss. I think it's subtle enough. I actually think it goes, lipstick on the teeth, I think it goes best with the look that I have on. I actually like these. I didn't think I was going to. I thought they were just going to be gimmicky, but a novelty that I was going to hang on to. But I like them. So let me finish off the story, my friends. So in my, the end result is I got a refund. I was able to get the new one through the graciousness of the people at Ulta. I think they were consummate professionals. When they handled it appropriately, they acted quickly, they're going to investigate further, they're not taking it lightly, and that's what I respect from a company, from a business that I spend my money on, that you spend your money on. And I got the $25 gift card, which made it even less money for me. So my final thoughts is I have a lot of great respect for Ulta and I appreciate what they did and how they took care of the situation. I do know that this will be in store soon. I don't know the exact date. I'm very happy with the collection. Yes, by the way, I did check in store, make sure there were no bugs in it. And I would honestly, minus the bugs, absolutely recommend this if you're into these fun colors, if you're into the nostalgia, if you're able to spend the $70 that it does cost. I just think it's fabulous and I am so glad that I got it. I'm so glad that in the end it worked out. I was able to get the collection. I'm happy. I love it. The brushes are freaking. I mean, I'm going to be able to use the brushes forever. You know, well, not forever, but you know what I mean. They are adorable and I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you guys think about the look minus the crappy eyeliner. You know, but I want to thank you guys so much for listening to my story, for if you needed to skip past the bug pictures, I totally get it. But thanks for your support, your love, your kindness, all that you are to me on the daily, every time I post a video. And I just appreciate it so much. And whatever part of the world you're in on around, if you want to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I would appreciate it. It doesn't bother me either way. <laughs> but I hope you're having an amazing week, an amazing day. I hope everything was fabulous. I'm going to take all this beautiful stuff off and I'm going to go to bed. And I will see you very soon in my next video, my friends. Much love. Bye.